Hi, in this video you will learn how to create a photo album in PowerPoint. There are times when you want to display a number of photos as a presentation to your audience. For example, if there is an important personal event in your life, like say the birthday of your child or say a wedding, then you may want to show all the photos that you have taken during the occasion to your colleagues. In such a case, you can create a photo album in PowerPoint. If there is a corporate event where there were a number of photos taken, you can showcase using a photo album. Or you want to create a presentation to showcase a tourist destination. Then again, you may want to use a photo album. And PowerPoint makes it extremely easy to create a photo album from a set of photos. Let us see how to create a photo album in PowerPoint quickly. Here I am on a new presentation. The first thing I am going to do to insert a photo album is to go to the insert tab in PowerPoint ribbon and go to the photo album option and you click on the drop down menu and say new photo album. And this dialog box will open and you can insert pictures from your file or disk. Realize that photo album is one of the oldest features of PowerPoint and as a result, quite a lot of the modern improvements in PowerPoint like inserting pictures from online etc. are not even present in this tool. So let us go to file or disk, go to the relevant folder and then pick up the photos that you want to showcase in your photo album. I am going to pick up some of the photos of flowers, so I am going to select this. If you want to select multiple photos, you can hold the control button down as you select the various photos. So I am going to hold the control button as I select the photos here. I like this photo and let me go down and select this photo, this photo and this photo and maybe this photo and I am going to say insert. So we've got five photos inserted in this photo album. The next thing is, if you want to reorder some of the photos, you can easily do so. Let us say I want to check this and I want to push this up. Let us say this one needs to be in the third position. I can click on this and I can move it to the position that I want. The same way you can use the downward arrow to move the various photos. If at any point of time you don't like a certain photo in the photo album, you can always click on the remove option. Now another thing to note is, you can see a preview of the various photos that you've selected. For example, if I want to see this particular photo here, I can click on it and you can see a preview here. Now when I check this, I get the option to make some adjustments for the photo. For example, if I want to rotate it or if I want to increase the brightness, contrast, etc., I can do so quite easily. Now, once you're done with the various settings here, then you can decide to have an option to have all the pictures in black and white. All you need to do is to check the option here and all the pictures will be automatically made into black and white. And once that is done, you come to this option here which is about the album layout. You can either have the picture layout as fit to slide option, which is the default option, where the pictures automatically are expanded to fit the entire slide, or you can choose to have multiple pictures on the same slide. For example, if you choose four pictures, you will have four pictures on each slide. And the same way, if you want to have two pictures with a title, you can use this option. So you can choose the picture layout that you think is ideal and once you make that decision, then you can also decide to have the frame shape. This option comes into picture when you choose an option other than fit to slide. Let us say you want to have two pictures on each slide. Then you can choose to have the kind of frame you want for the pictures. If you want the frame shape to be, say, a center shadow rectangle one, you can use it or soft edge rectangle or you can have rounded rectangle. You can have any kind of frame that you want. Let us say I want to have this rounded rectangle option and you can see that there is this frame that is shown here as a preview. And once you've made the decision regarding these, then you can even choose a theme for your presentation. And these themes are the same as the design themes that you find here. You can browse and then choose whichever design theme that you want for your photo album. 
and once you've made that decision finally you can hit create now let us say create and you see that a photo album is created and a default name is given like say photo album and the name of the author is given of course you can make changes to this very easily when i go to the slideshow mode the first slide has two of these photos because that is the layout that we chose and we also chose a rounded rectangle frame and you can see here that there is this rounded rectangle frame for each of these photos and when I go to the next slide you can see that the same kind of a treatment is given. Of course the thing to note is sometimes when you have multiple pictures on a slide and if those pictures have different sizes then you might have some kind of a variation like this. So you need to be aware of that reality and hence it is always a good idea to choose all your photos to have the same size when you want to create a photo album. And the last slide is this. As you can see we only have one photo here because we totally selected just five photos and the last one obviously has just one photo. So now we have created our photo album. Of course once you finish this if at any point of time you want to edit a photo album, all you need to do is to go to the same insert tab and go to the same photo album option. But this time when you open the drop down menu, you can go to the edit photo album option so that you can get the same dialog box that we had earlier. After you make the changes, you click on the update option and your photo album will be updated. Now, there are a couple of things that I prefer to do whenever I create a photo album. One, I try to add some caption to these photos. So I always use a text box tool from the AutoShapes gallery and then I add captions here. Another thing I do is I go to the transitions option and choose one of the transitions for the entire photo album. I can go to fade if that is the transition that I want and I can go to this option here called apply to all which applies the same transition to all the slides and then when I go to the photo album option so here is the first slide and I go to the slideshow when I click you can see that the transition is much smoother and as a result the impact on your audience is way better. So that is how you create a photo album in PowerPoint and it's a very handy tool to use. I highly recommend that you create a photo album for yourself and see how that works. I'll see you in the next video. If you like the simple shortcut that I taught you in this tutorial, then I have got tons and tons of useful stuff available in this new Udemy course called Complete PowerPoint 2016 Masterclass Office 365. Even if you don't have the Office 365 subscription, even if you have PowerPoint 2016 or 2013 version, you can follow around 95% of the course. Considering that this course is the most comprehensive course on PowerPoint in Udemy at this point with around 13 and a half hours of on-demand video, you will learn PowerPoint the way it needs to be learned. And to make it even more convenient for you to learn PowerPoint the right way, I've included a massive discount coupon in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and you will be able to enroll into this course of course, in exchange for an honest review about the course. So go ahead, click on the link, explore more about this useful course and get enrolled if you really want to get the best out of all the tutorials that we teach in Presentation Process YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.